Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm showing you a really cool book or notebook cover. And you see here it's made out of cork. It's pretty cool and it's going to be very easy to make. So you can see here um, I made a little book marker as well on the side. But yeah, it's going to be super simple and you can use any size that you want, any book, any notebook, anything you want. So yeah. All you're going to need is a couple of things and I'm going to show you what those are. So the cool thing is you can do this with pretty much any material, fabric or anything else you have. But I wanted to use cork to show you. I think it's a really cool material to use and it has a really cool look in the end. So yeah, you can use anything else as well, but I wanted to try this out with you guys. So this is why we have specifically cork today. So yeah, I'm going to show you how you can do this all by yourself in a matter of minutes. So make sure you stay tuned. So what you're going to need is a little bit of cork fabric, something to measure with, your fabric scissors and the book cover or the book or the notebook you want to cover. Okay, so we don't need a specific pattern. So we're just going to use our notebook or in this case, the book directly. You can also use a standard notebook and that way keep reusing it with every new notebook that you have, or you can use a specific size. So that depends on what you need it for. So yeah, what we're going to do is open this up. So put it on here and try to kind of start out the one edge. I'm going to start from the back and then I want to fold it over the fabric so that I see how much room I have here. Then we're going to close it that way and we're going to just go around this way. And there is a little bit left over, which is perfect. And yeah, we're also going to need the band that's going to serve as our bookmarker of sorts. And yeah, this can be as wide as you like. I'm using something that I have left over. So um, yeah, you can use whatever you want. I think this is three centimeters. So I'm measuring about 10 centimeters away from the edge and that's where I'm putting my band. And then we're going to put it on the inside and just make sure we align everything. It should go all around. And if you have some close pins, those would be great right now. If you use regular pins, you might have um, holes afterwards. So that's not something that you want. Um, but since I don't have any on me, any clothes pins, I'm using regular pins. But if you can use clothes pins to prevent damaging your fabric. Okay, so this is looking good. It's in place exactly where I want it. And now what we want to do is fold over. So the other end, fold it over and then sew the shorter sides together. So we're doing a regular straight stitch on the one side here. So just the shorter edge and then on the other as well. And then here we're going to go over this section so that both ends are there where we want them and don't keep slipping out. So this is what you have now and this is all that you're going to need basically. So the two smaller um, pieces and then the band here and that's all that we want. So now we're going to take our journal or notebook or book. We're going to put the one edge, the one cover on the inside. And then on the other side we have our band. This is looking good. And now what we're going to do is fold it over one more time. And then we can put it through the band. 
So I don't have another one here, so another one of um, what I did on the first side, so on the front side. Instead I did it a little bit differently with the band because this way this can be as thick or as thin as you want it because you can adjust the thickness. Um, yeah, but in this case you won't be able to use the band as a bookmark because it's keeping this side um, where it should be. But yeah, if you did both sides the same, then you have a little bit less flexibility as far as thickness of the book or notebook goes, but you can definitely use the band as your bookmark. So either way, I think it looks pretty cool and you can see how fast this project was. So if you're doing it the exact same way as I am, you're going to be having your result in just a matter of minutes, which is awesome. So you can see what this looks like right now and you can of course customize it and make it even um, more fancy and do all kinds of stuff here. So decorate it and apart from that, yeah, we're pretty much done. I hope you guys like the way this looks. If you did enjoy the project, you can let me know by shooting a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel if you'd like and that way always be up to date with all of my other videos. If you click on the notification bell, you're even going to be able to get a notification every time we post something new. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you a wonderful day and see you in my next project. Bye!